Gargoyle's Den. Welcome back to another episode of Gargoyle's Den. This is Gargoyle. Today we have a Poison Pinto Hot Wheels line, 1975, I believe. Uh, this is a black wall. Looks like it'd be pretty rough shape. The wheels are quite worn out. Wow, there's a lot of play in the back. I can almost stick my finger in there. I'm a big guy. So those wheels ain't gonna work. We're gonna get rid of those. Not really a whole lot to say, this whole car is pretty much trashed, so, you know, do nothing but go up from here. So let's get it drove apart and see if there's any other little surprises. Can't be much to clip to it. There's some reason the shoulder drilling here, there's already a dimple in the uh, post or the riveting to the bullet. The shoulder drilling makes it nice and easy to stay centered. Step up to the next size bit and take off that last little bit of uh, ring that's on there so that you can pop that bottom off. Careful with the base though, it's a plastic base. A lot of times you drill bit try to skip off and dig into that base and you got more repairs to do. Here I'm using the Zep industrial degreaser for the uh, glass and the interior and the butt base all into it to clean it. Um, it'll take all that chrome off that interior in about five minutes so that I can turn around and respray with some volatile chrome. And now we'll take the uh, body, so to speak, over to the I was first at all. Mm -hmm. There it is, with the bar. I was a little bit less than five minutes and it was with the bar already. I was waiting for the table to It would have been so dry and the plate dropped off it. Here I'm grinding down the post to make it flat so I can get that uh, eight inch throw boot centered on it. I don't belong to post out, but it's only got the one post to start in the first place. Mmm, really up all the time to the body. Until when you pause it with the body, you go both directions on the body. I'm just keeping the tree getting all the different things. And I'm just saying that. I usually go through one of the two of these balls and call it in. Cleaning balls per car. And it depends on how bad the car is and how long you do it and how hard you press the light. I'm trying not to press too hard and I'm trying to look at this because this could be uh, work rather than be trying to do it. Here I'm going to try to get the outside because I'm doing a color shop and I'm going to be doing the same subject. There you can see the top. There you can tell the top off the two scratches. And I do move the body. And we'll get to the uh we get to the RG RG RG. I'll get to the bottom. Popping bonuses on it, which you uh, get a dip like I did, you should pop the incest. With the way the extra incest is on the quarters and stuff, the liabilities of milk and beans will look the same way. At that point, you have to get the beans out of the box. Yeah. 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 Body yeah, I've got them. This one's going to be black beach. I'm going to have you dip the base and dug it so you can pull the boss. Yeah, it looks like it's kind of going to be Yeah, I think they're doing it. They're taking off all the excess. They're smacking around like the excess off. 
Okay, so I'm back from painting. Yeah, this scene is just looking beautiful. Beautiful blue. Had the thing decals on it. Went, put high gloss clear coat on. And what do we have? Yep, that's right. I effed it up. When I went to put the clear coat on, I didn't really have a whole lot of clear coat left of my graveyard, diecast graveyard 2K clear. Um, so I tried using the old spray clear that I used to use all the time before I started airbrushing. And it ran and left frosting all over this top edge and down here on one edge where it ran. I tried sanding it down a little bit think I could re-gloss it and it would fix it and no it looked like crap no matter what I did so now since I'm not going with that direction we are going to further customize it might as well while we're at it you know so now I'm going to use the second chance rose urethane paint retro flame it's also a see-through so that means I need to sand and buff up the body some more and then we'll put some decals and clear on that and I'll use the last of my airbrush clear on that because I'm not taking that chance again. So I could always decan the, the spray can that I have but I'll just not take the chance at this point. I want to get this done so. Alright, I'll polish this up. I won't make you guys watch it again, all the polishing and stuff. I'll go ahead and do that off camera and then paint it up and we'll be back. Stay tuned. Audible. Hut, hut, hey. All right, and we're back. And the paint actually came out this time. Also got some decals on it, but I'm not gonna let you see them just quite yet. You know, this started out being a blue car with the thing decals on the side, which I've been wanting to do for a long time. And then I screwed it up. Well, I called an audible and made it to where I like it again. I still plan on doing the thing though. Be a pull sooner or later. Next time I find a poison pinto that needs to be restored or is in bad enough shape that you might as well do something with it. Let's see here. And here we are, putting it back together finally. After we got it back out of the paint again, after I screwed it all up. But it's kind of a happy screw up, so we'll see here in just a minute after I get the uh, 172 screws in the one post in the front here. Okay, we are done. Be right back for the reveal. Stay tuned. And here's what we came up with. I think it came out pretty damn good. Just like life, sometimes you have to call an audible, you know, 
You're the only quarterback we have got, so you got to push through it and come up with something. So that's what I did with this. And I actually like it. Now I will say the uh, custom decals with the poison apple, those are from Second Chance Red Lines. They were off size just a hair. But all I had to do to fix it was the the flames, the scallops that go over the front fenders. I cut them separate from the back part of the thing and you can't really tell unless you look but there's just a little bit more of a gap there so that I was able to scoot it over just enough to where I could go around the wheel well with it but yeah it came out excellent other than that you know I couldn't argue that I could have printed off my own decals but I like the way theirs come out I'm happy with them that and I can't do the white toner printer I've got white back paper, but then you got to cut around all of it, and yeah, it's, it's easier to just order them if you can. Besides, it's a way of spreading the wealth around in the community, so it's something I like to always do. Well, that's another one for Garbo's Inn. If you like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more content. Bye now.